Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let's be very clear. There is only one reason and one reason only at this point we are not being able to fulfill our constitutional role of oversight, and that is the chairman's demands that were played out yesterday. We could had a hearing today. What bothers me the most about this is not only did in standing uh, for the questions that were discussed and the issues that have been discussed between me and the chairman, not only did he take the ability for the American people to hear again from Bill Barr, he took our ability to hear from Bill Barr today. To protect, maybe, because some didn't feel like they could ask proper questions, maybe they wanted more staff questions, who knows? But yesterday we found this, that he claims that uh, he wants staff, questions, staff to question the Attorney General because the five minute per member is not enough. But yet we spent a, and approved a motion yesterday that said we could do a whole hour, an extra hour, between the chairman and myself. He could have took one of these fabulous members that he has, and he has some excellent attorneys on his side, some of the best. He could have given them all 30 minutes, and they could have questioned the attorney general any way they wanted to. Instead, we go back to a circus political stunt to say we want it to look like an impeachment hearing because they won't bring impeachment proceedings. That's the reason. Take whatever you want to take. You can go out and have press conferences. You can say it from this dice. You can say whatever you want to have. But the reason Bill Barr is not here today is because the Democrats decided they didn't want him here today. That's the reason he's not here. You could have done anything else you wanted. And what is amazing to me is to say that he is scared of answering questions, to scare that he's not. And you can disagree with the Attorney General all you want, but for yesterday, he sat for over almost six hours in the Senate voluntarily asking questions, even on a second round that was taken up by Democrats who wanted to ask more questions. And you can agree, did he do good, did he do bad? It doesn't matter, but we're not getting that opportunity today because the stunt in the circus continues over here. All we had to do. We agreed to more time. We could talk about executive session, but no. For some reason, for some purpose, except the optics of something they can't do or don't want to do right now, they wanted to have a staff member ask questions. I said before, if that staff member wants to ask questions and desperately, run for Congress. Put a pen on. Find a committee. But you know, I can continue on and on and on about the issues that we have here and the impeachment agenda and whatever you want to have and saying that he's blackmailing this committee, he's terrified to come before this committee. I think yesterday he proved he's not terrified to sit before anybody, especially the Senate, which they actually extended the question time on. He answered the question, whether you like the question or not, as my chairman told me yesterday, it's not a matter of where we agree or disagree on this. We have the motions, we move the motion, we do the motion. You can agree with the Attorney General or disagree with the Attorney General, but not hearing from them is a travesty for this committee today. But I would be remiss if I also did not mention the largest tragedy of this day. It actually was from yesterday. The chairman just stated a few moments ago that we can't let moments pass. And I agree completely. Because what happened yesterday on this dais was a travesty. When you do not recognize members for valid motions, when you call things dilatory, questioning the motives of what members are doing it for. I have sat on this committee for six years, and I have sat through hours of motions to strike the last word, of giving other members on the minority side more time, more time. One of my biggest concerns I ever had with Chairman Goodlatte is why do you let it continue? Just call the previous question. And on two, two occasions last Congress, he did on re our resolutions of inquiry after almost six to seven hours of debate. The question I have here is not what Bill Barr is scared of. My question is, what are the Democrats scared of? They don't want Bill Barr here today. They've had the report. They've read it. They don't like what's in it. The chairman won't even go look at what the attorney general offered him. It's pretty amazing to me. He wants to go in executive session and ask questions about it, but he won't go read it. Now, you can go read it and ask for more. But here's the problem today, and this problem from yesterday is not over. If the majority wants to run a committee in which minority rights do not matter, parliamentary procedure does not matter, we saw it on full display yesterday, it will not 
continue. We will continue this in exercise, and we will exercise what we have as minority, which is the minority rights to ask questions, to make motions. Because at the end of the day, unless we've forgotten, Mr. Chairman, you've got more votes than we do. You will get what you want. But just like we sat on this side and you sat on this side and got to spend hours talking about whatever you wanted to talk about while Chairman Goodlatte sat there and let you do it. And all you wanted to, and the question that bothered me the most yesterday is we've got time, we've got to get onto another bill. Timing does not trump minority rights. And there's not a member on this dais that should say it's not. And freshman members or anybody else who's here for the first time, that's not how this committee works. And if you don't believe me, ask Chairman Sensenbrenner for three times, three times was chairman of this committee. And he laid it out clearly yesterday. But when we degregate members of my side calling Ms. Lesko's amendment, ridiculous, calling ours dilatory. That's just wrong and should offend everybody on this dais. Mr. Chairman, this is wrong. The tragedy of today is not that you have an empty chair, not that you have props. You can call the attorney general whatever you want. You know, I'm reminded of sticks and stones kind of quote. But what really bothers me today is, is the travesty of what happened in minority rights yesterday. And there's not a member of the Democrats who were on this committee last year that can honestly look me in the face and say, y'all were not treated much better by a chairman who actually followed the rules than we were treated yesterday. I yield back.